Peace family, how are you? Hope all is well. Hope all is well with you guys. Give me a minute, right? I'm going to try to um, get this started, right? Um, the, the thing that I've, I've really been um, struggling with, put it that way, right? is how to actually put all this information into something very small. Like I want bullet points versus a whole body of a APA paper. You know what I mean? So, um, the villain roots of this world, right? That's what this, this video is about, right? So, um, here we have another Bill and Ruth, right? Karen's son, right? Out there protesting, well, uh, protesting against the protesters, right? Who had the same type of mindset, right? As our last uh, mass murder, Bill and Ruth, right? So, I'm going to say this, right, because see me, we, we, we on, we still on the pandemic, right? So we're not, you know, I, I'm watching what's going on with our brother Jacob, right? And, um, I'm listening, right? And see... I'm not too quick to jump feet first in the fire, right, without doing the knowledge. So, once again, we're going to let it play out, right? The good thing about this brother is he's alive to tell it, right? So, when, when his parents come out here with that kumbaya crazy shit, right, uh, and telling us how we should think or feel about seeing one of our brothers uh, gunned down by these fucking race soldiers. You uh, know, it, it, it's mind-boggling, right? So, um, you, you know, they didn't send Al out this time. They sent Crump, right? They sent Benjamin Crump, right? My thing is, how did Crump get to these people that fast? How he get to them that fast, right? Faster, you know what? It, 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 and mind you, there have been brothers and sisters who've been murdered and gunned down and all fucked up by these race soldiers since this shit started, right? And um, none grasped the attention like this one here. And mainly because, you know, they went out in the violent uh got violence, bottom line, right, but here come Trump, one thing I said, I'm glad this brother is alive, because I want to see his mindset, I want to know how he thinks about uh, these devils shooting him in his back seven times, because he may be paralyzed, but he's still got the mind of God, right, I'm almost certain he'll pull through, right, and be able to make his own decisions. And I'm quite sure, part of stuff, I'm quite sure he's gonna be over here with black power. He definitely gonna be over here with black power, right? Yeah, playtime is over for these, um, you know, and it's like they, they play these roles and, and now it's like the roles are getting so old and it's not only are they getting old, they're getting upsetting to the conscious, right? To see. It's very upsetting when we see these, you know, uh, white supremacy lovers playing their position, right? Pretending, right, that they're here for the people, but they're really here for the fucking check. We already. But are we clear about that? One thing I said, the brother can change his mind, especially after he picked through the knowledge on how fast Benjamin Clump, uh, Crump 
uh, part of the pandemic came up there, the race soldier, uh, 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 10% blood sucker of the poor, him, right? That brother can dismiss him, right? And I'm almost certain he will. Now, I want to go back here to this race soldier, uh, Karen's son, right? I'm going to go here. I read this book called Devil in the Grove, right? Third Good Marshall. It's a book about Third Good Marshall went to Florida to defend these black uh, men that was accused of raping. I think raping this white woman. And it caused all this chaos and drama. And it explains. They even went inside of the jail to lynch uh, uh, Third Good himself. As well as the brothers he was trying to defend, right? It was a whole hot mess. And the more to the story, when you get to the end of the book, when Thurgood Marshall became a Supreme Court Justice, he left us with this, right? He said, as soon as he uncovered KKK, especially in Florida, all infiltrated from the local police, all the way up to the Supreme Court, right? As soon as he uncovered that, right, and brought it to light, right, they sat back probably like a year. I'll give it a year. I'll give them a year, right? They got quiet for about a year. Something was on me. Um, but then they were all back as the sheriffs, as the deputies. As the county clerks, as the judges, as the jurors, right? So, see, we know how this system has been functioning for a long ass time, right? We know how this system has been functioning, right? Um, in the Karen son, right? When they used to lynch, when they used to lynch us, right? or take us out and uh, hang us, right? They would, it, it was always, people always looked at the adults, right? But they never did the knowledge to the little Dylan Roops in all these fucking pictures. They never looked at the little Dylan Bruce, who are all grown up, who have children themselves, who are more than likely the ones on the ground doing what they do best. Now, I still want it so much I can wrap up into this, right? There's so much I can wrap up into this, but I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, right? Because, um, I reached that, which was very interesting, right? Uh, and he had an interview with this brother. Uh, he wasn't a, no, he wasn't a brother. He was this, uh, devil who who was in the music industry right but uh he was out there like talking about what black people how he could solve our financial problems because he knew us better than we knew us it was mind-boggling right then it was like, wow, you know, but Tariq said, you got to watch out for these, yo, my nigga type of white boys, right? The Dylan Roots. See, you don't just have, you got the Dylan Roots of the South, right? Which was the Dylan Roots, right? And then you got your Dylan Roots of, um, uh, uh, of, um, the North, people like Vlad and, uh, uh, 
uh, you know, these people that they bring, uh, they, that get so comfortable, but they inside of our business, but they really, you still try to equate and figure out, like, why are they so up and close into our business, business especially our culture in hip hop, right? Especially our culture in hip hop. We want to know, you, you want to know why uh, they are so into us. And what, you know, what's very interesting about these Dylan Roots when they do come amongst us, they come by themselves. Right? They come by themselves, but you don't realize that once they leave your atmosphere, they go on back, right? To the gang of Dylan Roots. Right? Why is that? You ever thought about that? Why is that? Right? See, we're going to get there. See, people like Vlad, right? You would wonder, like, why he, um, all of a sudden, he's real deep into our business, like, um, yeah, it just kind of, it was kind of odd, right? So I went back and did a little research, right? And this is from October, um, October 15, 2019. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but this is his, um, this is where the sister, right? The sister, uh, the sister had, um, i put out this so you can see it. She filed a lawsuit on him, right? She, she filed a lawsuit on him. I just want you to see, you know, Mr. Journalist into black culture, right? And you know, they say he loved black women. Uh, DJ Vlad is being sued by black woman, right? For racist and sexual comment. That's your DJ Vlad, Dylan Roof, you know, of hip hop, right? Um, I, t I always say, you gotta be careful, right? You gotta do the knowledge to these Dylan Roofs, right? Then you gotta ask yourself, why are they amongst us? Why they wanna get that close to us, right? Why do we get this close? Why, why does he want to get this close to our, us? Huh? You see the sign? Sign symbols too, right? All that's cute too. Right? So, uh, you want to know why they get so, want to get so close to you. And they, the reason why they want to get close to you, right? It, it's not, have, has any of them ever, like, came into our culture and really, like, um, that, oh, I'm coming in this culture because the people that make this culture, they're very poor, they're struggling, and, you know, I got that skin tone, you know, um, so I know that I can take their culture and mimic their culture, right, and make a lot of money off of it, right? And then as I'm helping myself, I'm helping them. Have we ever had any of them that uh, did that? And even if they did, it's it's always everything always come with a price, right? It it really comes with a price. These niggas running around here with them, yo my nigga, yo my nigga, yo my homie, what's up? Fight them to the barbecue, right? Got them all in black folk business, right? So when they ready to hit you. Right? When they ready to show you the Dylan Roof in them, right? What you going to do? You done opened up your kingdom, house of God, to the devil? Really? The Dylan Roof? Now, not into the religion, and I'm not even going to say the religion on this, right? So we know that this dude, him, right, he's supposed to be in the uh, organization 
of the two, right? No malice, right? So I, I just find that kind of strange, like, who you say you are, you know, and uh, watching attention between the two, right? Or um, the theft of uh, black people's identity and, you know, especially ours, right? And for you to be uh, amongst uh, black people like that, you know, it's like things make you go, hmm, with you, right? So I don't really want to go there, right? But um, like I always say, we know the history. You know, you don't want to go there with us historically, right? Right? You play. You they play with the sleep cheat, right? They don't play. They don't play with the gods that are uh, our head honchos. They don't do that. They don't want to interview us. I bet you they don't. Anyway. Dylan Root. Keep them out your cipher. I'm telling you right now, right? Because I'm going to go, I'm getting there. I want you to keep them out of your cipher. And I'm going to tell you the main reason why, right? Because if this Dylan Root went out, right? And murdered two people who were supposed to be a part of Black Lives Matter, right? Even though they was a part of Black Lives Matter, what race were they, right? It was his own race, right? Well, I don't know if he murdered one, shot one, you know, he shot two, but I know one is deceased. I don't know about the other one, but he didn't kill black people, right? Now, that's what they said. I'm going to take you here because I already said it, right? Um, when you watch the spies in Mississippi, right, it shows you, it tells you the story about the Jewish, Jewish brother that was helping the brothers in civil rights go down to Mississippi, right, to help, um, them fight for their freedom and voting and things of that nature. Well, what happened, they went down there and the police, the clans of Mississippi, right? The clans of Mississippi, right? Knew their whereabouts because of the spies in Mississippi who infiltrated uh, our uh, civil rights movement through uh, the NAACP, right, and even the churches, the it, it was so many people compromised. They had spies everywhere, right. So every time a black person move made a move in the South, right, they could have been their target, that next target, right, coming through that information source. And so I say that because. Uh, Black Lives Matter right now, right? Uh, I'm almost certain, I'm almost for sure, right? There are spies inside of Black Lives Matter, right? And those spies, right, are reporting to, uh, CIA and FBI and uh, then the race soldiers, the parents, right? And then you're dealing with on how to move through this race war, which a lot of dummies still ain't um, wake up to. We, we, we've been at fuck Matter of fact, the war was never over. It just calmed down. It got mild. Race war never ended in this country. How could a race war end when all of the people who were defeated turned around 
and glorify their Lord. Right? But we're here to set the record straight, right? So um, we are aware of the Dillaroo of the United States of America, right? We are aware who they are, how they move, and as your sister, I'm going to tell you again, watch out for those yo my nigga type of Dylan roofs around you, okay? Because they ain't playing. They done sent them out there. To, if you go against them, black, white, green, and purple, they don't give a fuck, right? They could kill you. They're going to kill you, okay? Now, check this out. Uh, Adults, foundational black Americans, V1. One thing about us, we ain't motherfucking slow. Right? I'm almost certain we are not on the fucking ground. So I'm warning you, uh, immigrant, who don't understand um, the nature of war, especially on American soil, right? You better stay your ass from out there the streets, right? Because the Dylan Roofs have this gate sounded the alarm, right? And they on the ground, right? With their clans, grandfathers and uncles and you name it, right? So once again, pandemic, we don't, yes, we, we, we feel our brother, right? And we want them to arrest Brianna's killers as well, right? But black Americans is not slow, okay? We are not going out there, just like we didn't go out there when, when, with, with our brother George Floyd, right? Knowing the art of fucking war, right? And how they operate, right? If we come out there, we co we coming out like the Dylan Roof. I'm just telling you. We come out there, bitch. We coming out just like the Dylans. We're not coming out there on that bullshit because we already know what time it is with the fucking Dylan Roofs with his grandfather, with his mother, Karen, right? His sister, Susie. Uncle Police. We already know what's up with these people. So you're not going to really see us on the ground like that. Not yet. Right? Not yet. Warning to you, Black Lives Matter. A Dylan group is on the motherfucking ground. And you best to know that uh, they ain't going to spare no souls, right? So um, take your ass out there. Like I said, it's Fies, Mississippi. They killed the Jewish brother. The Jewish brother went down there with the two brothers. The sheriff and his, and his police honchos, they murdered him and buried him. But because it was a high, right? A Jew of high importance. This, this, this wasn't no average white boy. They murdered, right? So they, they had to come up off of it. And when they came up off of it, it unraveled how they were infiltrating black movements and how they were being with the ability to go knock on somebody's door or a bomb their house or. Senate Dillon Roof, uh, you name it. Same shit. Black Lives Matter. We didn't I, listen. Think I'm bullshitting. Keep keep your ass. That that's for black, white, wherever you are. Keep fucking around on that ground, right? With that bullshit, right? What I liked about um when I watched let me show you 
Dylan Roof. When I watch Dylan Roof, right? This is me. This is me. I went, right? When 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 Dylan Roof shot um our beloved Charleston Nine, I was down that following week, right? And um you see it? Yeah, I was, let me show you. I, so, I was down there. Right? That's me across the street from the church. Right? Anybody from Charleston know where I'm at? Right? right across the street from the church. That this devil, right, slaughtered, slaughtered our brothers and sisters. Right? Look. This was still, this was still like at the bottom of the church when you go into the church, you know, the, the, the downstairs, because they had two doors, okay? You had the downstairs doors that was about similar, like here would be the basement or the cellar type doors, and then you had other doors to go up. But in the middle, right, um, um, Clementa Pinckney, Pastor, Sundays, at 9.30, right, 9.30, um, that was still on there, our brother, you know, that this devil murdered, right, um, this is the little thing that we wrote, uh, our, you know, condolences and how everybody felt about uh, the Charleston Nine and just being in that sacred um, space at one time, um, bear witnessing, right, to the um, devil, right, raising its vibrations once again in the South, right? <laughs> this is, this is where my mother, my mother still goes here every year, but this is where my grandmother, fam, my grandmother, um, grew up in family, um, when they migrated up. So this is Maysville, I don't know. I think my grandmother could have been born on this plantation, right? Um, this is what they call Blue Eye Mansion. I mean, no, this is not Blue and Blue Eye. This is called Bill May's Mansion. Okay, so every morning when these people rise, right? This is a slave mansion. This is a plantation mansion. I'm trying to make that I got this. Let me see. Let's see. So every morning these people wake up, right? It's still tradition. You see what that is, right? It's still tradition that they raise this Confederate flag in front of this mansion. So every morning you walk past, you know, all day from the sunrise to sunset. Uh, this plantation house still exists right here. I told you my mother, my mother uh, goes here every year. My family, I have a lot of family and land around this section of um, Sumter, South Carolina, and Maysville, because that's actually in Maysville. But that's a mansion, right? And and my not only did my the ancestors work there because my grandfather all of that is his territory and it was natives there it really natives and then they brought the slaves there to it to entwine with one another right they never were free they were enslaved okay so all of that area uh, is still slavery never left Churches, these mansions where they still raise their fucking Confederate flag 
on these mansions all around the state of South Carolina. Right? So Dylan Root, right, never felt as if, right, uh, black people, right, should ever rise above him uh, and um, his kind. So he went in the church and he gunned down our brothers and sisters, right? And white supremacy, including Donald Trump, supported him for what he did. Not only after Dylan Roof, after Dylan Roof, you know what they did after Dylan Roof? They went around and started um, setting churches on in King Street, Greeleyville, places like that, historical churches. They started burning down churches in South Carolina right after Dylan Roof. So it wasn't just Dylan Roof. That shit right there, when, when Dylan Roof did what he did, it was like a takeoff for them, right? So what I wrote when I went to Charleston 9, right, and wrote on their little thing, right, I told them, right, that I'll never forget what Dylan Roof did to you. Right? And I never forgot. Right? So I always pay attention to these yo my nigga Dylan Roofs of the motherfucking world. Because you know they say, oh, Dylan Roof had a black friend. Not only did he have a black friend, uh, Charleston is black. They still dress up like fucking slaves downtown in a historical part of Charleston, South Carolina. Right? They still have people that dress like slave maids, butlers, all that shit. If you want to go through a slave experience of how the fuck it was in Charleston, South Carolina, you just go downtown. There are restaurants. It's deep, right? See, Charleston is unique. Here's the link. Charleston was where the Civil War of the South set off, led by... Thomas Sumter, right? Thomas Lee. They love the Lees and they got damn that name, right? I think it said Thomas Lee Sumter. But my mother was born in Sumter, right? So when you go to Sumter, when you go to the courthouse in Sumter, South Carolina, do you know they have the statue of Thomas Sumter, right? Facing the court. So when you come outside, if you come outside of it, right, or before you go in and you turn around, you're looking at the motherfucker who set off the Civil War of the United States of America between the North and the South. You look him in his eye, right, before you may, sooner or later, end up where he had you before the Civil War, while well, your ancestors, still us, no different. Right? See, I lived in the North and the South. I've been blessed with both fucking worlds. Matter of fact, all out West, but I'm a real pro in the North and South, right? And how they did our ancestors. You see, the thing about it, they never left. They only read, we, we leave this Earth's atmosphere. But that's a story for another day. So, just like them children you've seen in them pictures a uh, uh, hundred years ago, these motherfuckers out here feel the same. They've got them motherfucking, they probably got more pictures look worse than the ones that they do allow us to see ever so often of them standing in front of our ancestors being lynched, castrated, murdered, hung, you name it, right? These, 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 these children nowadays of America, right? So even when their cousins come over to the United States, they teach their cousins that culture. When Donald Trump's father came here, he was the first person from the Nazi camp, right, to join the KKK of the South, okay? Fred Trump. He, 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 did a, he had a rally in Queens. Okay, he was the first one to do a KKK rally 
in Queens, New York, during his time, during his reign, during those that devil's reign, right? Before he what he is now, Donald Trump. That's how he was. Right? So I try to tell people all the time, these people, if you gotta work with them, you know, I know brothers and sisters still out there gotta make their money. You know what I mean? And take care of their family. I don't have no problem with that. But to have these people in your life, right? Up and close and a little too close can be dangerous. He's still in boots. Never left, right? And a lot of them right now are ramped up, ready to fucking go. And they have so much information on you, black man and black woman. So when they get ready to attack you, right? It's not going to be a hard, yeah, it ain't going to be a hard thing for them to do. And most of the time, you don't know where these motherfuckers live. You don't know their grandmother's name. You don't know their pet's name. You don't know shit about these motherfuckers. But you let them all up in your business. These Dylan Roos. Because we already know how the Karens come. Right? We know how the Klansmen. But we're not doing the knowledge to the fucking Dylan Roos. It's time to pay attention. Because even look at when um, in Atlanta, they had little children. Little brain soldiers children, little Dylan Roots. They had them out there with uniforms on, the little masks and shields, ready to go to fucking war. Grown ass people, they, these little race soldiers was already, so that's um, definitely. So if we're looking at the clans in the police office, I mean in the police department, right? So we already know they straight lace clans. What the fuck do you think their children uh, are being taught? What do you think? Right? If they coming out there really performing those acts and living out their hatred, right? Through murdering a black man, woman, or child, right? What have they instilled in that child? Especially for them to eat. They glorify motherfuckers like that. They already glorify in this Dylan Roof. And look how he look. This average little prick, right? As they call themselves. The Dylan Roof. They come in all shapes, forms, and fashion. Where you see them run. Stop letting these motherfuckers in your business. Do you understand? We are in a race war. And I don't care how you take it. And how you think and feel. You keep on, oh, the black, oh, the, the white, you know. Well, this is America. Well, this is America. Black and white. It's no race. It's no color. Meanwhile, the AR-15 says different every fucking time, right? Now, um... But one thing I love about the South, Martin Luther King uh, Jr., right? When when the world was on too heavy of a burden, right, for MLK, he would retreat. He would retreat to uh, Charleston, and he would retreat to our Gullah Island because he knew there was the most safe and sacred place uh, where ain't no race soldiers coming the fuck up in, period, right? He knew he was protected, not only physically, but spirit, because my brothers and sisters down in the islands will put something on you, the rain won't wash the fuck off, right? You don't go up race soldiers. Race soldiers do what Dylan Roof do, like said, when they go in the church or something like that, right? He wouldn't have came around no motherfucker. He wouldn't have came around uh, no no Gullah festival or anything else and do that to the Gullah people, right? 
and, and, and mosey his ass on out of there. I highly doubt it. And I find it ironic that when Dylan Roof was uh, caught, didn't they give him a Burger King or got him a cheeseburger and a Coke, right? And this this Dylan Roof here, look how they treat him with royalty too, right? These people are on fucking code, right? They've always been on code. Uh, we were the only ones off. Now, Remember the movie, you ever watched the movie Generation, uh, ever watched the movie Gener History X, um, American History X, right? You ever watch that? So on American History X, remember, uh, that's, that was another, yo, what's up, yo, my nigga, the type of, um, you would have thought he was. And that's what I'm saying about him. You would have thought, right? He was like a flag. You would have thought he would come when when you see somebody like him, you know, um, how they approach us now, things with all the tattoos. And, you know, we get sometimes we don't understand the difference between a worm and a fucking snake. Right? So oh, we went to general American history at for the brother in there. You saw what he did to the brother in there, right? And um, now I want to show you. So remember how he looked in there with all the tattoos and all of this, right? Now, this dude, right? And I have a right to this copy because this is my family's fucking matter and business. I wish a motherfucker would. Um, this guy right here, right? Uh, his last name is Stinney, right? This is your Dylan Roof of uh, Sumter, South Carolina. This was the Dylan Roof of Sumter, South Carolina, okay? Uh, who he looked like to you, right? He looked, don't even remind you of a dude on American History Act. Does he not remind you? That ain't him, though. That's not him. But uh, that's your, you know how Tyreek said to yo, my nigga? You see him, right? You see him. Now, at this one, he was hanging out. <laughs> my little cousins, my mother, she had a, she had a first, her first cousin, her name was Queen. And she passed away years ago, right? But she had a son, right? She had a son. Here we go. Look at here. Now, this is an up and close picture of him. This is an up and close picture of him, right? Hey, yo, my nigga. You see that yo, my nigga one, right? So... We getting there, the Dylan Roof of Sumter. Now, I think I could go into his, um, this fucking thing right here and tell you what I want to explain to you about this great soldier, right? And in here, I found a whole bunch of lies, but, um, that's okay. I'm going to go here. Now, mind you, this is my second cousin. They did this too, okay? Now, um... Murder suspect Stephen Stinnett, right, is back in custody in Sumter County after, uh, uh, after, according to information of Adrian Sarvis, public information officer to Sumter County Sheriff's Office. I do not have details of his apprehension at the time, said Sarvis, uh, uh, Sarvis early Friday morning. I will send an official new release today with more information. Sumter County Sheriff's Office began its search on Thursday for Stinnett, who escaped from the sheriff's detention during a riot. Okay. According to service, an inmate at the detention center set fire to his mattress Thursday night, right? 
to protect inmates from smoke inhalation. They were being removed from their cells when they became combative. Uh, Stennett used the opportunity to escape. So I want to stop there, right? Because why I stopped there is because once this bitch right here did what he did, right, um, to my cousin, he was locked up, right? Because not only him, when I'm going to get into that detail with all of that, right? But um, not only him, his mother, his, um, I want to say his cousin, Uh, so, mother was charged, three other suspects, let's put it this way, his mother was in on this shit too, okay, it was his mother, and then two other people, and they were family members, okay, now, um, check this out, Stennett was one of the four arrested May 4th, 2018, right, after Jerry Lamar Johnson, 31, of Sumter, was found dead in Lake Marion in April of 2018. Sumter County Office said the man was shot multiple times in a wooded area of Sumter County and that his body was buried twice. in Sumter County, and then moved to Lake Marion. Sheriff Anthony Dennis said to get that location in Orangeburg County, the killers would have had to transport his body through three counties. Dennis said last year that the body was suspected to have been moved far and south because the suspects thought someone had revealed where Johnson was buried. Three other suspects, including Stennett's mother, was charged after Johnson was found. Uh, give all of the names, right? And then they tell you uh, all was charged with accessory after the fact of murder, right? Then it tells you he was an acquaintance of Johnson, right? Uh, a fisherman, now here we go, and this was my second cousin, and it got deeper than that, this was just the beginning of the fucking showdown, okay, so this motherfucker, his family, him and his family, his girlfriend dies or something, he hanging out with my cousin, I don't know what the fuck they had going on, but, uh, he blamed his girlfriend's death on my little cousin, right? And still to this day, there is nothing that linked my cousin to doing anything to his fucking uh, girlfriend who OD'd, okay? Who fucking od So this bitch, my cousin didn't even know what the fuck was coming his way with Dylan Ruth and Karen and his clan's uh, uh, cousins up here, okay? So my cousin, they be, came to the house and got him, told him they were uh, wanted to go, so, you know, I don't know how they got him out of there, but he went with them, right? Then my cousins, because his mother is dead, but then my cousins was like, um, at that, everybody was like, that was the last person they saw him with, was them. Right? So, they didn't find my cousin's body until, I think, a week later. And the way they identified him was through his um, dental work because the body was so decomposed. The It was a guy fishing in the Santee River, right? Went out to fish kind of early and saw his body floating in the motherfucking river. They tortured him, right? They tortured him, right? Then they shot him, right? 
Then they buried him, right? Then they took, the, dug him up, took his body some fucking where else. It wasn't satisfied with where they had him at there, right? So they said, fuck it. They dug him up again and threw him in the Santee River. So anybody know the math between Sumter and Santee? Uh, that's how far and how many counties they went across after these devils murdered my cousin, right? And the insult to that, right? The insult after that deal with Root, right? He escaped. And still to this day, I really think in my heart and mind, it wasn't all about uh, that goddamn uh, thing, that uh, mattress or no in there and, and no riot. I really don't think it was just a riot. I think it was some higher ups in there who helped him fucking escape, okay? Who helped him escape? Because they already know, you know, what's up? They already know. He going over there, as a matter of fact, with, with, with my cousin's uh, uh, brother. He'll be over there with them if he ha if he's not over there already, right? And um, that's where they electrocuted our, our young brother. Sten what's, what's his name? I think his name was Stenny. The, the young boy, they brother, they electrocuted over in Columbia, South Carolina. But my, my, forget all of that. My point, my point here is after he murdered my cousin, he was sitting in jail, you know, because they locked the mother up and two more suspects, right? This motherfucker was sitting in jail and somebody assisted him. You see how on cold white supremacy actually fucking was? Because I don't care what nobody say. Riot or not, how do you still get through them fucking doors? No matter what, you still have to have a fucking key to get through those fucking doors. You're not getting out of no holding cell prison or nowhere else. All just, because if one door closes on your ass, one door open, the other bitch gonna close on you. Are we correct about that? Right? They had my family I was in protective custody because of this motherfucker just, you know, they let him out. Why? Because he was their protege. This was a Dylan Roof who committed, right? A modern act of lynching. And not only did he lynch him, his fucking mom. And two more, I think they were his cousins or something. But it, they was all in on it. And then it, it, it was like, everybody was like, it was the most senseless shit, you know, and still there is no connection on why he would do what he did to my cousin, right? That was just his excuse. Nobody even knew what the fuck he was talking about. And I think he met him through somebody else uh, uh, in Maysville. Now, Maysville, where I showed you, that's... That's where I showed you the mansion, the slave mansion, you know, my mother's stomping grounds up in there. So they was hanging out. He met him down there in Dylan Roof's slave um, territory because we got family there too, right? But they let this motherfucker come amongst us and look what that Dylan Roof did. I did this video because I want you guys to understand, right, that there's another danger here, right? There's another evil lurking here that you have to open your fucking eyes, right? Not just these, but this one up in here, you know, and, and the light up in here. You got to start putting motherfuckers on radar, okay? You can't have these Dylan roots, right? Because like I said, you can't tell a snake from a fucking worm. And I, to be honest, they never been in my cipher like that. I don't, I mean, business wise, that's, that's, it is what it is. But coming amongst me and my family, chilling, see, one thing about me, I've always been militant. I'm always thinking like a queen. I'm always like, I don't want too many people around my fucking babies. I don't fucking know. 
right? There's a certain shit that I'm very overprotective of. So I'm also overprotective of my universal brothers and sisters here now dealing with this same type of fucking... I'm just saying villain groups are now on the ground. We can sum it up. And if you don't know how the Dylan Roots look, I just show, I just gave you a wealth of information. You can go back in there, right? Because there's so many characteristics to them. But one thing that's similar with all of them, right, is we allow a lot of them to come up amongst us, right, without examining them. Before these type of events take place, these people never change. These people still living out the same way their ancestors live out, lived out during the Civil War, or not even if it's not or during during, during uh, Germany, right? These people are still living out. They still, you know, their knowledge never went anywhere. We just waking up to a lot of shit, right? And they know that, right? Some of us are just more advanced than others. And we already saw what was to take place, right? And now that we see it, how it is, right? Um, so this is the, 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 the other phase of the pandemic with, with um, George Floyd. We just had the daddies, you know. The KKK, the daddies and the uncles on the motherfucking ground, right? But before then, we had the Karens. Then we had the daddies and, and the uncles and grandpappies uh, with the police uniforms on the ground, right? Now we got the motherfucker. And then what do you say? Blue Lives Matter, right? So there you have it. Those are your Blue Lives Matter Dylan Roof motherfuckers that's all amongst us in every shape, form, and fashion. You better watch this cycle. Right? You better bunker, you better hunker down, protect your family. Right? Because I don't want you to be out here caught up in what my cousin was caught up in. He was caught up in the illusion of this devil. And he knew, he had to, you know, really trust him to go with him, his parents, and whatever. He went with his Dylan Roof, modern day. KKK killers in the way they tortured and murdered him, right? Was a modern day KKK Jim Crow type of lynching in 2018. Understand? This is fresh. This is, it, it, he, he did it in 2018, but I think it was this year. I think it was the beginning of this year that he escaped. Okay? This was the beginning. Yeah, this was the beginning of this year that this boy, um, that he, um, did what he did. Escaped. I'm getting ready, because I, um, Manscapes from Holding Cells, Sumter, South Carolina. Oh, it was July of last year. Yeah. Murder suspect escaped Sumter Jail. Man accused of killing person later found in Santee River. Sumter inmate back in custody believed to be a mastermind of escape. What did I tell you? I'm curious. A few inmates escaped to the outdoor recreation area. Three correction officers suffered minor injuries. Senate was caught about a mile from the detention center, according to deputies. He had minor injuries from climbing the fence and might have been bitten by a snake. A lafia, so a snake bit him. My 
ancestors is powerful. You took, you murdered. This is it. Oh, that that's deep. Cause I'm just, you know, looking through that. So 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 he got bit by a snake. This was July 25th, July 25th of um, last year, he escaped. So he killed my cousin in May of 2018, right? And the next year, because he was in jail, because it took a long time for him to go to trial down there. Your ass could sit in jail for a minute in South in Sumter, right? So they waiting on trial still, right? But look at that, he got bit by a snake. Uh, Thank my ancestors is is very powerful. You fuck with four or five, the the, the ones there, the ones there, uh, especially that's my grandfather's bloodline, right? So um, they have a direct, direct, straight off the boat. Never left the plantation. Told you my auntie, my grand aunt was still on that lady's goddamn plantation in the 90s, okay? So we have a church called Bueller Church. It's a historical church, Baptist church. My son is buried in it, right? So we, that, that soil, and then down the street, because you can walk from there to Maysville. Where that mansion I was telling you that is my grandmother's camp, Bill May's mansion, plantation, right? And that's where that joker uh, picked my cousin up from in, in Maysville, right? But we have a cemetery there, right? With ancestors, uh, uh, 15, I think 15, 1600. It's so deep, you got. You got tombstones that's so old and ancient in, in those graveyards, right? And a lot of it nowadays is like wooded, right? But they still all out there in the woods, the um, tombstones. So here another fucker, you know the powers uh, that be. My grandmother used to tell me all the time, like when they went to school and stuff, because the church, uh, Next to my grandfather's plantation, the church my son is buried, the children from Maysville, right, because my grandmother was in Maysville, had to walk from there to the church. And uh, all between there, even nowadays, is just field, and then there's wood. But my grandmother, even grandmother, my grandmother told me about her brothers were that were meant. She would tell me how they walked to school and how they would find their friends and family and people they didn't even know hung in the fucking trees on their way to school. She said, I used to be scared to death, right? To walk through there. You would see shoes. She said, you would see shoes with blood or you see trails of blood, somebody running. You know what I mean? It was And rem remember, the, my grandmother was a child, right? So those were the Dylan roofs. That's what the Dylan roofs of her time was still doing to them as they tried to um, just go to school, you know, or make it back from one plantation to the next, things of that nature. That's what they was doing. I want us to be careful. I want us to open our eyes and be aware of these building rules. It's time to shut these people, right, out of our cipher. They gotta go. If they ain't adding on, then be fucking going, right? I, I find it kind of amazing now that, listen, these white, white people think they smart, right? But sooner or later, you're going to read what you sell. Still trying to profit off of black people. Look how much money they are making now off of um, media. 
right? Right, they, they have made our deaths, right? A business. They done branded our deaths. They done put our deaths in magazines and uh, uh, social medias going viral. And y'all just, they just make black lives, everybody out, everybody out here make black lives matter and black, black people stuff ain't black. Right? So best start examining these people and make sure you are um, working um, with your own kind. You notice something? I see the aura. I've been, I've been watching that the whole time in my video. I see it. Right? I, I always know the ancestors is with me. You know, I've been... Um, Took that fear of the devil out of me, put it that way. You know, the ancestors is always with me. And I bear witness to their powers to be. So I ain't really worrying about no motherfucking devil. Like I said, I you know this motherfucker here got bit by a snake. That's good, right? And he lived, so he suffered and still alive. <laughs> Stay away from these billing booths. We don't owe them anything, especially not your presence. We don't have time to distinguish who is and who isn't with us. They want to help or join, let them stay over in their little side. Look, we're supposed to be social distancing, right? So it's no need for them to be up and close to anything that we're doing right now. Stop doing interviews with them, brother. But the y'all, 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 especially celebrities, y'all have been around these Dylan Bruce and just not doing the knowledge. Be easy, right? We don't want, we don't want um you to be out there getting caught up in the crossfire, right? Uh, thinking that uh, the snake is a worm and harmless. See, we could, we could look at people like Vlad and see that he took Akon, right? He took him to attack us, right? He didn't necessarily uh, care about how uh, Akon actually felt about reparations or our, you know, he just wanted, he put him out there to attack us, that divide and conquer shit. So we bended the knowledge to that. But we telling people like Akon before his ass run into the Dillon Roof of the United States, right? That he's not aware of, that he has not encountered yet. But he's real comfortable in Dillon Roof's uh, family business, right? One thing about it, the devil don't like you in his social equality, right? As soon as you start knowing how filthy he is in his affair, he gonna get fucking rid of you, right? If I didn't, if I didn't love uh, black people as a whole, I wouldn't give a fuck. But I'm telling Mr. Akon because everybody's been trying to. Um, Shake your ass a little bit and wake you the fuck up about what you're dealing with here. With these Dylan Roots of your age and kind. Right? So your fake white supremacy or your fake superior type of position, right, does not equate to theirs. Right? You, you, you might be getting all them, you know, thumbs up and high five. Uh, why they around you? Somewhere, some way, somewhere, I'm almost certain. Right? That is one. I can't stand your ass. Right? And you ain't paying attention. Now, the new, that, that's the deal we know. So, I'm just explaining how American Dylan Roots are. Right? You keep fucking playing with them. You know, you will find yourself like my cousin, right? I hate to say it, 
right? But you ain't paying attention. And one thing you got to learn that the, the, the Yankees of the North and the Yankees of the South, one thing about the Yankees of the South, right? They let you know, right? More than likely, they'll let you know they're fucking white supremacists, right? But these motherfuckers up in the North and out Cali, right? They the greatest magicians. The motherfuckers, they work magic spells. They could put on this illusion in front of you to make you just real comfortable. Oh, grab some champagne, have some caviar. Get comfortable. Would you like a Becky to come and cater to you? Right? Next thing you know, you would have got so heavenly with them. Now you ain't going to see what's coming next. Bottom line. I got to go, you guys. You know, you guys, I've been sick. But I want to get that out. These Dylan groups, y'all, keep them out of your cipher. Keep them out your circle. Ain't no hard feelings to it. It ain't being racist. It's right now. We got to protect our race of people. Especially black Americans. You can't have that. We know what's up, right? So basically, really, this message is for you foreigners who don't fucking get it yet, right? We done told you get on code. You ain't got to get the fuck on code. You won't get missing. You keep out there Black Lives Matter and fucking with them Dylan Roots and them goddamn blacks, and you can go down the list, right? I'm out of here. I'm feeling the aura. I'm feeling it. It's like I can touch it. Look at that. I love you. Breathing. Look at that. I see it. Um, I hope you guys can see it too because I, you know, like I said, I keep my warriors up. I keep my angels around me at all times. I'm a soldier. I'm not That other shit, I'm a queen, but I'm a soldier first. I'm a warrior first, right? And I don't sleep because sleep is cousin of, uh, it's, it's the cousin of death. I'm not doing that, not going out like that, right? And I always listen to my ancestors, right? And they haven't failed me yet. My method, I don't know about everybody else, everything don't work for everybody, which is cool. I'm giving you a message right now from the dead, right, to the living. If you want to stay alive, right, it's telling you how they stayed alive, knowing the dangers of being around these goddamn Dylan Roots. Right? That being said, keep your vibrations high. Um, you know, I'm still rehabilitating myself, but... I'm almost there, but I wanted to do this, right? Um, that being said, I will go with you guys later. Hope you can hear this video. I'm praying you can hear it, right? I do. I pray. Meditate, whatever you want to call it. With that being said, keep vibrations high. Namaste.